Alright guys, so welcome back to another video of Small Town Hunters. I am Isaiah Wagner and today I am going to be showing you the food plot. I planted this quite a while ago. Um, I haven't doing, been doing much uh, updates on it, so today is the day. And I put up a stand just a few days ago. I should have put it on video, but I didn't. I, re I, I really am sorry about that. But I'm going to be showing you where I put it and what I planted the food plot with in case you guys forgot. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. I hopefully can put it in the link in the description. Here I'm going to go through and stay tuned. Alright guys, so first off I'm going to start off with what I have planted in it. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because I know I've had the trail camera right there on that tree right there. And I've been having pictures of deer coming out about this time. So I want to be really quiet and not spook off the deer and get them uh, to knowing that I've been coming in here lately. But first off I'm going to start off, like I said, with putting, uh, telling you what I put in this as a plant. So, first off is the clover. As you can see, it's growing in really well. I'm gonna show you guys the full angle if possible of the food plot it is right here. Clover's coming in crazy, like crazy. I actually planted a couple days ago, I put red clover in. This is like white clover or something. And this is more expensive, but I put some red clover in, a couple pounds of that. But it's, as you can see, it's really thick. It's growing in really well. And that patch right there used to be oats. And I took the weed whacker, weed whacked that off because it dried out. And it just, uh, it, the seeds, I think, fell off. So I weed whacked that down, took all that off. And then I replanted it with oats for late season oats. So by the time it's hunting, hopefully it's only about three inches tall. And it hasn't started growing yet, but it's rained. So it's starting to soak into the ground. And eventually it'll rise up and get a few in there, get a few inches of oats in there, and hopefully that whole patch, I put quite a bit, but deer might have eaten a lot of it, because I know the deer have been in here a lot lately, so hopefully they didn't eat all those oats, hopefully it grows up a little bit, but I put some clover over there to mix in with it, like the red clover, so that's what I've got over there, but I, earlier this year I planted peas, but they ended up dying off, so that's why you can't see them, they, they should have been taller, I put some brassica in here, turnips, they also didn't come up, as you can see. It's mainly just a clover food plot with oats. Oats came up pretty good, but it dried out pretty fast because there wasn't enough rain lately. So, um, it's mainly just a clover plot, and it's just looking pretty good, as you can see. Um, it's just really nice. So, that's about it on the planting. I think I think there might have been clover mixed in with the brassica because I got a bag of like throw and grow or something like that and add brassica turnips and stuff like that so hopefully hopefully the brassica and stuff comes up because I also did replant the brassica and the turnips so maybe that can, might come up but who knows if it does that's a mo that's really awesome but let's check the trail camera real quick last time I came here it had 342 and then just a little bit ago goes at 372 so it's got 30 since I've been here it's taken like 10 or 11 pictures so that's why it's like that since yesterday since last time I was here um, it got 30 pictures so I'm guessing that it's the same does and fawns last time so I'm guessing right after I get out of here they're gonna come right up so let's show you the stand um, I guess I have it about 15 feet up off the ground I got a ladder here so I can climb up and hopefully I have a spot to put on the uh, swing arm so I can film my hunts and I'll be looking right down into it and so it's straight there's my tripod and it's right about the middle straight down the middle of the food plot and there's this little tree right here but that doesn't bother much but I might have to chop off this limb because like it's kind of the same height and I went up there and it kind of blocks that far edge and it's pretty thick clover over there so I'm guessing that the deer might go over there and it might disturb a couple shots of getting some shots through to that end in the thick clover and I'm guessing that's the main spot but there, uh, since the pictures they're kind of sticking in the middle of the food plot they're not ch uh, chewing down much but that's good they probably they shouldn't start coming in pretty heavy until later in the year during hunting season when all the deer start moving in so that's pretty good I'm super excited thank you guys so much for all the support 
we're at 118 subscribers last I checked. Super happy. I don't know what happened. Since like three days ago, I've gained like 30 subscribers. I don't know what happened, but I'm happy about it. Thank you so much, Andrew, for the help um, and everything that you've done and all the videos. And I thank all my friends and family for all the support. I know Luke's been a couple, in a couple of the videos. He's given me a lot of support. He's my friend slash cousin. And he's just helped me a lot, given me a lot of support. And everybody just has given me a lot of support. So I just wanted to thank you all so much. And some of my subscribers from different states, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys have supported me so much in the past uh, how many months of my channel. So it's finally starting to grow faster. Let's just keep that up, keep on growing, and eventually we can get into the thousands. We're already into the hundreds. That's amazing. Um, it's crazy. I'm just super happy. Thank you guys so much again. Uh, that's just crazy. But that's about it. I've also got a climber way down there past all this thicket. And then in here is just a bunch of thicket. I've done past videos of me walking through all that getting a trail camera. So check those out. Then you'll see what's inside there. And hopefully if I shoot a deer they won't run too far in there because it's kind of swampy in there and it'd just kind of be hard to get the deer out of there. So I'm kind of hoping that if I shoot the deer, it's going to either run that direction down there into where it's not so swampy or down straight here where it's nice and dry and easy to get through and get the four-wheeler through there and I can just pick up the deer and just drive off. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to do more uh, updates on the food plot, Hunting is getting really darn close. Super excited. Thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, let me know if you guys, since the whole um, can't, no feeding anything, so that's kind of hard to get your deer in the area. So I'm super happy that I planted this food plot. It's getting the deer to funnel in instead of having to use like mineral salt or um, corn or anything like that. So I'm super thankful for the owner of this property to let me hunt his land and put a food plot on it put a sand in and it's just been an awesome adventure so far for the past four years of me hunting and it's just crazy everything's getting better and better um i never expected this when i started hunting it's just crazy thank you guys so much for all the support and like i said let me know if you guys wanted to see more updates on the food plot or on the stands or if you guys want to see me putting up more stands in the future just let me know down in the comment section down below thank you guys so much again it's just crazy I can't even explain how happy I am it's just I'm overwhelmed with happiness that's what I can say uh, thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe small time hunters and I'll catch you guys all on the next one see you later.